Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another photo P video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you could do some more manipulation. A lot of you guys liked my other manipulation video, so here I am with another. And I think this one looks really cool and it's super easy to do. So without further ado, let's get started. The size doesn't matter right now. So what we're going to do is I'm going to look up an uh, ocean picture, which I already have here. Half underwater. It's pretty important that you have half of it underwater and half above. So I'm going to use this one. It'll be in the description below if you want to copy that. And uh, I'm just going to copy it and hit control V and here it is. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add a building right in the middle. We're going to have two buildings. So let's get this building first. Just copy that. Bring it back. This will be in the description as well. Control alt T to resize. And hold shift while you uh, do it. Okay, I'm just going to put that here for now. And I'm going to go to my magic wand tool over here. If you don't see it, it's probably in one of these. So just right click until you find it. Here it is. Click on the black part and delete, delete. And I mean, there's some of these little things, but it's not a huge deal. Um, yeah, so now what we're going to do is find another picture, which I had earlier. I got to find it again. I think it was this one. I'm just going to copy this, bring it into photo P control V. Here it is. I'm just going to hide this one for now and cut this all out with the magic wand. So yeah, do that. The bottom really doesn't matter because it's not going to be in the picture anyway. So don't worry about that too much. Just kind of clean it up a bit. Okay. Looks pretty good. You won't really see this anyways. So now hit control alt T. Hold shift, resize it down here. I think this is good right here. Okay, hit that check mark. Now what you want to do is go down here to the bottom right to add a raster mask. Now go to your brush tool over here and make sure you have a white box and a black one. You can hit X to switch between them. So basically you can erase and create with it. Now go to your brush tool up here you can turn the hardness up and down if you want, or you could hold alt and hold right click until you get it the way you want. I'd say about this much. Now you can turn the opacity down to like 40% and make sure that the top box is black. If you brush over it, you can see it starts to blend in with the back. And the lower it goes, I'm going to make it fade out more. You set to experiment with it. And if you switch back to white, it'll bring it back. You can see as stuff gets farther away, you can make it harder to see. So yeah, you get the idea. Um, I might make it a little bit darker. See, turn the opacity down like 12 and do one more, a few brushes over it. That should be good. Now let's unhide this tower and do the same thing. Let's actually make it a little bit bigger. Like that. Hit that check mark. I'm going to sharpen it. So go up to filter, sharpen. And uh, yeah, because it makes it look better. So now what we're going to do is add a raster mask to this and do the exact same thing. Go to like 40. Start brushing it in or out. Okay. The top needs to be 100% visible. You don't want to fade that out. All right, that looks pretty good. You just have to experiment with it. Okay, and now I'm going to do is I'm going to add an exposure adjustment layer. So go down here, click exposure. This is going to be 0 0.400. And this is going to be 0 0.020. Make sure it's negative. 
Okay. And now what I'm going to do is add some curves. So go ahead and go to your curves down here. And what we're going to do is we're going to start out with red. We go up to red channel. Up on this line and down on this line. And then go to green. And you can just go down on this line a bit. And then go to blue and go down on this line and up on this line. Or you could go down on this line and up on this line. That's up to you. It's pretty blue, so I think we'll leave it here. Now what we're going to do is add a color balance. So go to your adjustment layer again and add a color balance. Red 63, green 28, and blue negative 36. Okay, so it gives it that. Well, you could probably go a little higher. Yeah, negative 20 works. And I'm going to fade the city out a little bit more down here. So it's not that visible. And this tower. Dang. I didn't mean to do that. Make sure you click on the raster mask and not the picture. That'll make a difference. Okay, now what we're going to do is one more thing. We're going to add the sun. So go to your brush tool. Hold alt and drag with right click to make it really big like this. Make sure your top box is white and just go up here and left click. Oh, make sure you make a new layer down here and then do it. Do that. You might want to turn your opacity up for this though to 100 and then you turn it down with uh, the slider right here. So yeah, I mean, it looks pretty cool. The first version I did was better, but this version looks cool too. So it's some cool manipulation. You could even add like sharks and seaweed and planes flying over it, whatever you want. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.